ark encounter features a full-size Noah's ark built according to the dimensions given in the Bible, spanning 510 feet long, 85 feet wide, and 51 feet high. This modern engineering marvel amazes visitors young and old. Ark Encounter is situated in Williamstown, Kentucky, halfway between Cincinnati and Lexington, right off of Interstate 75. The parking is $15 for a regular vehicle, $20 for an oversized vehicle. We're in line to get our tickets, and I'm gonna show you the prices. Here are the prices, three-day pass, that's the best value. And also you can get just a one-day pass, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. The one-day ticket is $59.99, seniors is $49.99, youth 11 to 17 is $31.99, and kids under 10 is free. They also have that combo ticket if you want to go uh, to the Creation Museum and been to that before too. You'll notice the rainbow, and this is from Genesis 9, 13. I have set my rainbow in the cloud. God's promise. Now we have our first good view of the ark. This is the perfect spot to have your picture taken with the entire ark in the background. So do not pass up this photo opportunity. You will notice the animals are marching two by two, headed to the ark, just like God had instructed them to do. This right here would give you an idea of just how tall the ark actually is and remember that this was built to the dimensions of the ark in the Bible it's amazing to think that Noah built this and no wonder people thought he was crazy to be building this look how big it is and you know from our Bible stories and stuff, you think of this cute little ark with these little with animals in it and stuff with a few. But if you've got to have all the animals in it, it's got to be huge. This is just unbelievable when you see it in person. And we're getting ready to go inside of the ark now. This sign tells you a little bit about it. They have this beautiful garden before you enter the actual ark. It's just pretty flowers. It's just beautiful out here. This is a map to show you what the inside of the ark looks like. You'll notice it's three different floors. This is just showing you what the actual inside of the ark looks like as far as the construction of how it was built. With all the animals, you had to have somewhere to keep them, a system to feed them and water them. So here is a possibility of maybe what the cages look like and how Noah could have fed and watered the animals. You will see there are many, many cages throughout the ark. This would have held a lot of the smaller animals David, you know I'm not much on reptiles and amphibians, but I've always thought about like the snakes and how they kept them, the different uh, types of snakes and stuff. And here is a possibility that they could have kept them in these clay pots, put water at the bottom so it would stay moist and be wet for them. And then they could pour more water through um, the cloth that they needed to um, have more water. You'll notice all the clay pots. Most likely, these were used to hold different types of grain. 
Did you know? Up to 85 kinds of dinosaurs were on the ark. He just needed two of those. Many people think the dinosaurs and other animals were huge, but most of them were probably smaller than people expected. He most likely either brung smaller versions of the dinosaurs or just juveniles of them because they take up less space, they eat less, they create less waste, they are often easier to manage, they are generally more durable. Regarding juveniles, they would have more time to reproduce after the flood. Here are some interesting facts about the Ark and today's Ark encounter. Feel free to pause the video to read them. Inside the ark, we were able to explore various exhibits that illustrate the biblical story of Noah, the flood, and the animals saved on the ark. These exhibits include animatronic animals, displays of the logistics of feeding and caring for the animals, and explanations of the biblical account of the flood. Other attractions at the ark encounter include attractions such as a petting zoo, a zipline course, a playground, and restaurants. It also hosts special events, conferences, and concerts throughout the year. The day we visited the Ark Encounter, we were on a limited time schedule, but please be sure to take in all the exhibits that the Ark Encounter has to offer. I know that you will really enjoy them. We hope that you enjoyed this video of the Ark Encounter. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you hadn't done so already, please subscribe to our channel, ring that notification bell, that way you can keep up with all the latest and greatest adventures from the VA Fun Seekers. Until next time, we thank y'all so much for watching and God bless.